You know what? And that's maybe what the mom's doing. It's like, yo, look, I got to prove to you now. I got to prove to you that I've cleaned up my act, that I want to be a part of your life, and I will not be a negative influence on it now. But he always chickened out on that. Um, but it's okay. Like, actually, I think eight months ago, he actually sent me a friend request on Facebook, and that was really weird. It threw me off. And uh, I just never responded to it. And uh, it just made me think. I was like, and I and I and I messaged my dad. Um, he was like, "Hey, I just wanted to let you know I appreciate you, and I love you for everything you've done." And um, and then my dad actually, uh, when I went and visited him in Seattle uh, during the government shutdown in December ish or whatever, I told him about it again. And uh, he's going through something with his dad. Uh, his dad is a narcissist. My my grandfather's. 100% straight narcissist. Um, and my dad's always had struggles with trying to have a relationship with him. And uh, my dad gave me the advice. He's like, you know what? Don't burn any bridges. It's like, you don't want to be in a position where you can't have something. And you know what? It's like, see, that's a dad. That's a dad. Like, he's telling me, don't completely just be like, no, boom, shut it down straight up. He's like, Think about it, you know, let it weigh on your heart. Think about it for a bit. Don't burn a bridge or whatever. And it's like, that's the difference between a dad and a biological dad. It's like, just because you're not biologically related doesn't mean that you're not a dad. It's like, it takes, it takes someone of character to be a dad. You know what I mean? Man, face if that was a rant. Anyway. Yeah, cereal. You're in a perfect situation, man. I'm not going to read that out loud because I don't know if you want <laughs> that. I know you say in your channel and stuff, but I'm not going to offer that up to the YouTube void <laughs> so you don't get harassed. But yeah, man. Oh, did she not? I can't say that. I didn't know she didn't know that. Yeah, dude, see, but you're, you're in a good position. Like, she's going to grow up knowing that. Just be like, nah, this is my dad. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, like, um, my dad's wanted to, like, when I was younger, he was, like, he wanted to adopt me at some point and stuff. But we never went through that, and I didn't want to, and changing names and all that stuff was just a pain. But he, it's like... No, I have a biological dad. Uh, I jokingly call him my sperm donor. And, uh, and then I have my dad. You know? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you, you've been with her since she was itty bitty. Man, I'm proud of you taking that step. That's awesome, man. Shit. I forgot what Chloe, Chloe and Rachel were talking about. Something about a secret weapon. I'm going to say I got this. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and... Oh, okay. To it was how to find her. her. You do that? Yeah, dude. Boom. Nice. And that's... I've always wanted to have a daughter first. We know where she is. For that reason. Oh, Just something about it. It's like... A, a little girl just calling you daddy. That's just life. like, oh, that's adorable. Hey, some more doggo treats to lighten the mood. Hey, let's do that. Five more bitties. Thank you, man. Yeah, look at you waddling over here. You want cookies? Hey, Daryl, take them for the cookies. Come on, you. Jade is all limpy. Here you go. Good cookies. Hey, take your cereal for the cookies. Nom, nom, nom. You guys need more cookies. You're running out. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Crap, what did she ask? Uh, I've got that one, too. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. I don't know what I'm agreeing to. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you knows. could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? It 
doesn't matter. Uh, you'll know. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak, Mama, stop slurping. In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. Give her a big hug. Big hold. Deep body compression releases stress and anxiety. Dang, man. We're only 45 minutes into this and... Things are starting to go topsy-turvy. Oh, drug trip. What's up, Pops? Interesting. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are Whoa. some of my favorite memories. Whoa. Or my memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? This is wild. This was a great scene decision. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? I'm gonna play along with it. Here it is. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. C Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Sounded Fury. Uh, did he say anything about Sounded Fury? I'm gonna say the world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. Nailed it! I don't want to be an actor. 
I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Oh, that's messed up. Dad. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a... Oh, it's still messed up. Magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Uh, that's not okay. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Ah, oh, that's so messed up. Itchy. Oh, now I'm all cold. Who booed me? Was that Victoria? Victoria, I will murder you. You bitch. Ah. That was unexpected. <laughs> now I'm all cold and itchy now. Hello. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. No, that made us I even. Oh, come on, dude. He just ran once. Chill. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? I like the I Firewalk logo. It's cool. What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? Something important. Can you help? Oh boy. Oh boy. It would mean a lot to me, or I'm helping a friend. I'm helping a friend. I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <laughs> that might well. He's like a big softy, but he's a hard ass too. Ah, it's kind of like you, cereal. <laughs> All right, we had some okay. messages earlier. Okay. Got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Do I get to change clothes again? Nope, I'm still in the same clothes. It'd be the same anyway, so I don't know why I would change it. Figures. There, Gerhardt. The, the, I don't know. Where's my mouse? There it is. Um, what? Victoria chose. Victoria Chase, comment on a photo you're tagged in. To view the photo, make sure you click on the following link. I really wish those links worked, guys. Nice <sighs> to see my work is appreciated. Victoria, just in case you need more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. That's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Matter of fact, no one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Oh, Chloe, that was classy. I think it looked sick, man. A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. <laughs> it 
Yeah, I love that. They made it because the Prescotts own everything in this area. They they sugarcoated it to make it look like Nathan chose to act that way when he just bitched out and ran off stage. Thou art an idiot. With the results right in the role of Ariel, was newcomer Chloe Price. Oh, goodness. Perhaps even that in Miranda and Ferdinand, as she was exposed to Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty, Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance indeed when Prospera refer refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script. I've never seen a more believable trail of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. Five yeah. stars. Go skip. Wow, everyone loves me. When to quit an interview with Skip Matthews, pisshead frontman. Arcadia Bay Online News, so a charmingly so a charmingly homemade music video for your your song, Nothing Wrong, hit the internet last night. The last twelve hours has accumulated two hundred thousand hits. Skip Matthews, yeah, you're supposed we were surprised as everyone. How can you explain the sudden appearance of your first music video? I just really needed to change. I was working full time at a job I hated and I finally worked up the nerve to quit and it was so freeing I just felt Hey, alright, so us messing up that whole dialogue that caused him to quit his job made him pursue his music career better and uh they nailed it good things good things for that so guy just changed hey, hey you right you <laughs> recognize me now yep yep dad's jacket dad's favorite jacket definitely taking that if rachel and i ever leave oh my, my plant is jacked up have I ever watered that? Let's do that now. Uh, better than nothing. <laughs> Are you gonna pour coke on your plant? No. It isn't better than nothing. It's worse. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Oh, he, she wasn't talking about Rachel. I was like, that's messed up. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Colleen Speckman says, does, does she ever water this thing? She believed me for once about never coming back home. Oh, Max, when she looks at it. Okay. Hey! Nice remembering that. That totally went over my head. Forgot about that. That's what. See, that's why I love doing let's let's plays. Is like some other people will pick up on that stuff because like when you're streaming, sometimes you just don't commit things to memory, or you miss things, but then other people can pick up on it. That's awesome. It's so much fun. All right, let's uh. Whoa! Oh, that the software is messing up my stuff again. There we go. Oh, no problem. Is mom playing music? Are they dancing? Huh. All right, I keep getting messages. Stop. Let me read this. All right, what do we got? Next. Next, when you think about it, it's kind of amazing that anyone ever trusts anybody about anything. Take the stars, for example. We learn all these things about them in school, but no one bothers to tell us the most important fact of all. Some of them are dead. Before you can see the light, you have to deal with the darkness. Yep, that's a great quote. Yet, somehow Rachel trusts me with the most important thing in her world, finding her real mom. She didn't ask me right away. At first, she didn't even want to talk. It was kind of like the junkyard a couple days ago, but this time I didn't freak out on her. I gave her space. There's something you never learned, Max. When someone you care about is hurting, you do anything you can to be there for her, even if that means making the stars shine in her bedroom. That's how I got Rachel to open up and ask me about finding her mom. I told her I think I can do it. If I can reach Frank and get the truck running, we have a chance. Chloe, Conjurer Stars. All right. Yeah, I missed this one. Chloe, the show is starting. We got great shoots where, or you'll see. I thought there's another one I missed. Maybe not. Victoria messaged us? Really? When did Victoria message us? 
Holy Christ, I heard some fucked up shit about Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel...